very pleased to have a guest on today. We're being joined by Pistons Vice Chairman and former agent Arn Tellum. He was going to talk to us a little bit about the Pistons before things get started here soon. Arn, thank you so much for joining us today. No, nice to be with you, Amari. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I guess just to lead off first, I mean, obviously this is an ex a exciting time for the, the team with Kate being back. Uh, you know, Monty Williams just... For the organization, just kind of talking to people, where's the excitement level at for you and just the expectation of what this team can do this season? Uh, we're super excited. Uh, this may be the most excited I've been since I've gotten here. Uh, I've been here now eight years, but um, one, we have a new coach in Monty Williams. Um, and I think um, we got the right coach um, at the right time for this team. Um, and I think the best possible coach um, um, for this team. So, and kudos to Tom Gores and Troy Weaver um, for making this all happen, especially Tom, who um, would not take no for an answer uh, and really uh, uh, encouraged us to get the very best for us, for the, for the Pistons and for this, you know, for the, for our fans and for the city. Um, two, uh, Kate is back. So that's a huge difference. Uh, and we're very excited to see him. He's healthy. He's he had a great summer playing on USA basketball. Um, he really looks good. Uh, we're excited to see him play. Uh, and I think that's going to be a huge difference. Um, the, the continued development of Jaden Ivey and Jalen Duran. They both had great rookie seasons. I think they're both poised to take a big step this year. And then obviously adding Asar Thompson, a great young rookie prospect who has shown he's mature beyond his years. Um, a great defensive player. We need help there. He's multi-positioned. He's really uh, super athletic. And uh, I think the sky's the limit for him. So we're excited to see him on the court. And then we added some key veterans. We didn't make many major moves, but we added some key veterans. That was important. Um, Joe Harris brings... He's a great player, um, uh, a solid, you know, veteran, which we need. We need some veterans on this team, and he provides something that you know we, you know, we've we continue to need is shooting. Uh, he's a great shooter, one of the premier three-point shooters. I think that's going to be really important. He knows how to play. I think he's already had a positive impact in the locker room, and as far as as, as we try to build culture, um, Monte Morris, um, another good veteran. Um, which hopefully will help Cade and give him some relief. Um, and the nice thing about him, he has Michigan roots from Flint. And, uh, and we know, so we know he's a tough, competitive kid. Um, and uh, I think he also will provide some veteran uh, leadership that we need uh, and experience. Uh, so I think that th those are all positive. And then I think it's also going to be interesting. I think this is the deepest team and the, uh, that we've had since I've been here, which is interesting because it's going to be very competitive. And I think competition also uh, pushes players to be the best they can be. Uh, and another thing I would like to add is I think Monty has a terrific staff. Uh, as, and we love Monty Williams, but I think one of his strengths is uh, beyond his, you know, the, to me, the most impressive thing about Monty when we talked to him was his, you know, I always heard about his character and, um, leadership and um, just his, you know, smarts and the way he can communicate um, and really um, develop young players. Uh, but credit to him for, you know, having a very good staff um, that he empowers. And, um, and I think that's also important. They do a lot of teaching. Um, and uh, I think it's been, so I think we've had a good summer of working with the players, and I'm really optimistic about this season. Um, you know, we have hope. That's the key here. Um, and hope is the lifeblood of a professional sports team. And, you know, I know it's, um, you know, when you go through this, Troy calls it a restoring process. Um, you know, these things typically take um, four to five years uh, when you start fresh like we did. Uh, and there's so much that depends on the draft because really that's, you know, we have to build through the draft. That's the, the main way you got to develop your core of talent. 
Uh, and uh, I think now we have that young core. We have a good young core. It's going to be exciting to see where they go. So to, I know it was a long answer, but <laughs> uh, in, in short, we're very excited about this season for a lot of reasons, starting with the coach and our young core of players and the veterans we've added. Uh, you know, we didn't talk about, you know, the, you know, Boyan Bogdanovich and Stewart. And um, obviously we're, we have great depth at the center position with Bagley and Wiseman behind Duran. So I think we're, it's going to be a really fun year. You know, I, I make a comparison. I love the Lions mm -hmm. and I love where the Lions are this year. I think it's very exciting. Um, I think we're going to be like the Lions last year. I think we're going to show that we're on our way. That's really what I feel. Um, I'm very optimistic. Um, a lot depends on health, as we know, but I'm very optimistic going into the year that we're going to provide excitement. It's going to be really interesting to see where these players go. But I think our the arc of this team now is very positive. And I think in a couple of years, we're going to be a really, really good um, competitive team for many years to come. Arn, you mentioned the draft with Asar, Marcus Sasser, but it was a bit quieter of an offseason overall. You mentioned Joe Harris and Monte Morris. What was kind of the priority of the offseason? And do you feel like you fulfilled that priority with kind of the direction you wanted to go this offseason? Uh, most definitely. And I'll tell you why. One is, um, from a player standpoint, so let's start there because we, you know, we can talk about the coach, which I think was the most important thing is getting the right coach for the for this team. And I think we exceeded our expectations by getting Monty because uh, we didn't have any when we started this process. We didn't think Monty would be even be available, and to get him was a huge, huge addition uh, because you need leadership, you need someone at the top, and I think with Monty, we got that for many years to come. Um, two. I think our whole strategy has been to continue to develop this young core. So it started with the draft and getting us our Thompson, I think was very important. Uh, he's a multi-position player with great promise, great, great character, highly intelligent, uh, fits the type of player that Troy and Monty want uh, and believe that we need to make up this team. Super competitive, can play multi-positions, and already, and already has a great feel for how to play defense. Very intense defender, can play defend anyone on the court pretty much. And I know that was very important to Monty and to Troy. Um, and I think Asar is going to be one of the top rookies in this league and has a great future ahead of him. So that was important. And then adding some key, and Sasser also, in, as from the draft, I think, you know, um, Monty and Troy really loved him. And we wanted we we and when Troy, came, you know, when we were discussing at the draft, they said, "Let's go for it. Let's make the move to go." I supported it and endorsed the move um, to give up the picks, the future second round picks, to make sure we got him because they believed in him so much. Um, and he's a little guard, but he can shoot. He's he's an unbelievable, tenacious, tenacious defender, um, and he's going to be a very good player for us. Um, with the with the veterans that we added. The key is we wanted to keep cap space. That was our strategy. At some point, we didn't see it. We didn't see it this year, but there may be opportunities next summer and the year after where we could go after that free agent. And we wanted to make sure we had our, you know, our our cap space available to do that. Uh, we just didn't want to make a lateral move or bring someone into a high salary uh, and kill our cap space. Uh, unless it was that special player, and there weren't really any out there. But we were able to add some very key veterans that filled, you know, some important positions for us. One, Joe Harris. You know, you, you can't have enough shooting and veteran leadership and someone who's just a great team guy, uh, great brings, adds to the, contributes to the con culture. Um, everyone loves Joe, um, and I think he's going to be a great addition for us. Um, I think he was, he's, he was undervalued. Uh, because he had had some injuries, but he looks great. I think he's recovered, and I think that will be a really great addition for us. Monte Morris gives us some gives us the same thing in the backcourt: a veteran guard who doesn't commit turnovers, who makes solid play, uh, can can help the young guards, show them the right way to play, and is very competitive. Fits again Troy and Monte's sort of vision of what the, we need as far as the type of team we're putting out there. So I think small moves, but very important. 
Uh, as I said before, the team is going to be super going to be there's a lot of comp there's more competition on this team for minutes than ever before, which I think is a good thing. And the key thing for us, which I hope everyone appreciates, is that we needed to keep cap space for a potential bigger move next summer. And that we did. And and there are going to be some interesting players available next summer. And if and we want to be able to throw our hat in the ring to, to maybe if they're available to compete for them. Because if this is the young core, then we, we once we know we have the young core and we feel good about it, and, I do, and, and we do, then you can go add a significant piece to that team. And I don't believe, I'm, well, I do believe, I do believe very strongly that we can attract a, a great free agent who on our timeline, on our timeline, let me say, sort of this similar age, maybe a little bit older, but not too much older, but on our timeline, um, I believe we can attract it because we have that young core. Someone will want, because they know we're on the bird with, with the coach we have, with the young core we have, with the front office led by Troy Weaver, I think we have the makings that uh, will be very attractive to a, uh, to a, to a veteran to come here and uh, be that missing piece for this team. Uh, you mentioned this is the most excited you've been. And of course, you've been here in Detroit for eight years. How much of that excitement, of course, we have the uh, the coach hired with Monty Williams and all the young players. How much of that excitement is generated just because of what could come as well, having wide open books and you have, you know, one of the younger teams at the NBA, probably, you know, what, seven, eight, nine guys on, on, on Ricky deals. Is it a joint package just knowing that things could turn around pretty quickly with the flexibility this team has going for it? Yeah, I mean, look. The hardest thing is, <laughs> which we all know is patience, the hardest thing for any uh, front office uh, ownership for the fans is patience. Uh, we all want to, you know, win immediately. Uh, but that is so hard to do. And our fans have been patient, but I think the fans see that we're headed in the right direction. And with the coach, and that's why I started with, the, you know, getting Monty, it showed everyone that we're all in to do this right. We wanted the right coach. We got him. And credit to Tom Gores for doing what he had to do to get Monty Williams to be the head coach. Tom deserves all the credit, in my opinion, for really pushing all of us to make sure we got him um, and not give up even after he had said no the first time he was going to sit out the year. Uh, the second thing is, I think everyone understands that you know, sometimes when you have a draft, 